Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Paco's introspective hypnosis session. I am releasing part one for YouTube and part two is going to be for patrons only because in part two there are a couple of things that we are talked about that might trigger some people so I'm going to leave it for patrons only but in this part of the session very interesting things happened her ancestor showed up and we had a chance to talk about certain things that are important in her life Paco also came to the interview and she said I keep having car troubles problems with my car would it be tire would it be something wrong with my window there is always something that comes up and it's still ongoing i hope you enjoyed this session and paku thank you one more time for sharing it with the tribe now i want you to scan your energy body and tell me as you said before, you felt like there is a bit of dark aura around you or someone next to you. Do you feel like it's still somewhere there? Investigate. Yeah. Mm hmm It's like a part of me, though. And where is it? Where is that darkness? Like, behind my back behind your back very good now I'll count from three to one and we're gonna be looking at the energy the energy of darkness behind your back three two and one. this energy that is behind your back does it feel foreign or does it feel like a part of you It doesn't feel like a part of me, but it's like hard to explain. It reminds me of Saturn. Like something, it's just something that watches me to make sure I'm gonna stay on the right path. Something that watches you. Okay, let's talk to that energy. Let's lend your lips and your mind to that energy. Three, two, and one. This energy that is behind, that is in the back. What is it that you are doing there? A protector. A protector. And if you knew, are you part of a soul family, of a guides of Paku? I'm an ancestor. And sister, beautiful. And what is it that you help a cool with? To fight the dark forces. To fight the dark forces. And do you remember when was the last time when you had to fight or help her fight the dark forces? All the time. All the time. And what does, when does it happen the most? Is it in her sleep or is it in waking life? In her sleep. And is there something that she can do for herself in order to put more protection before she goes to sleep? She can meditate more. Mm-hmm. And anything else that she needs to do apart from meditation? Uh, her job is too draining. It brings bad energy. It brings bad energy. So what can she do in her job in order to protect herself in her job? Mm, she's on the right path right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just a, I'm just an extra shield. Very good. And do you feel like you help her in her job as well? Sometimes, but she can do it herself. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you one question. Maybe you know. 
If you don't want to answer, that's okay. We're going to ask Baku. Do you know anything about her car or why she's having troubles with a car? She thinks she should be a monk. She thinks she should be a monk. And how does that influence her car? She wants to walk everywhere. Mm -hmm. It makes her car kind of sad, I think. Yeah. She really just wants to stay home. And is it good for her staying home often? Yeah, because she's too sensitive to energy, so she's more comfortable in her own skin at home. Mm hmm. And does that prevent her from meeting new people, do you feel? No, she always does whatever she wants. Very good. So people come to her naturally, whoever has to. Oh, all the time. I had to protect her from that too. Yes. Is there a message that you have for her before we disconnect? No, I'm just like a friend to her. Sometimes I watch her when she's sleeping, she sees me, she gets kind of scared. And where does she see you? In front of her when she's asleep, because I'm usually behind her. Mm hmm Very good. And apart from protection, is there anything else that you're helping her with? The spiritual path. And tell me one thing, what kind of powers or abilities as an ancestor do you hold? Or if you remember what you were great at when you had a life? The ability to time change. Mm -hmm. She can do that too in her dreams and with her mind. And what does that do? The time change. It's like shifting reality. Yes. And can she manifest many things with that? Yeah, but she thinks she's not good enough. I think now she knows that she is. Hearing you. Apart from something holds her back, but that's her own task. Let's look at that. So thank you for communication. Now I'll come from three to one and we'll travel back in time to a memory that is somehow connected to holding Baku back. Three, two, and one. You're there now, in that memory. I want you to tell me and feel, are you inside or are you outside? I'm inside, I'm at school. Mm -hmm. Now approximately how old are you there? 16. And how do you feel there being at school? I hate this place. <laughs> Why is it that you Nothing hate here. Mm-hmm. I like to learn, but the education is very bad here. Do you feel like you can't learn anything that is significant for you? Yeah, we just play on our phones. And if you could make that school teach anything, what would you want it to teach? Science and math. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what do you feel like is holding you back 
Is it lack of education over there? No, my parents wouldn't let me do what I want to. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you want to do? Mm, I just want to be a free soul. I just want to sing and write and play. Yeah, like all kids. And instead, what do they ask you to do? To be a doctor. Do you like being a doctor? No, but I do like science and math. Mm -hmm. And in order to be a free soul, apart from playing, what is it that you need? Is it exploration? No, I don't need anything. It's just my pen and paper. Just your pen and paper. And what is it that you will write there? Uh, everything. I write everything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you can do it now once the crew is grown up? Oh yeah, I still do it. Very good. So let's move to that moment when your parents don't allow you to be a free soul. Three, two, and one. Are you feeling repressed? Or feeling like you can't fully express yourself and do things that you want. How do you feel emotionally there? Mm, stuck. Stuck? Where in your body do you feel the most stuck? In my heart. Very good. Now, since you are grown up now, do you feel like it's time for you to remove that energy of feeling stuck. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. Exactly. Very good. And one. You're back now. Slowly, slowly open your eyes and welcome back. Oh, my feet is like no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you would want to share any part of this um, with a tribe? Because some stories were beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You sure you don't I have did, to? Yeah, I did. I did a lot. I saw a past life and let entity go of, past life. Yeah, this past life's life. memory. Yeah. <laughs> your your session was really rich because it was very like different things were coming up. And I really, really love that story with the car. And I cannot wait to share it with people because it's <laughs> so like, I think it's very unexpected in a way, you know, where at least for me, how that all tied in beautifully. Now, what I did, I have pulled cards as I, as I told you before, prior to this session, but I don't do like a full blown, um, you know, reading intention is tell me what message Paku needs to hear after we're done with the session. And I talked about one card before uh, where I said, mm, now it makes sense, no shamanic family. The card that came up for you was a witch card and it says the magic you seek is inside of you, let it flow. So this is the one of the most spiritual cards that I really have in this deck. And you will probably know a lot of these things, what it says. It says this is a lucky card. When this card is drawn, a bonus appears in your life and key events and situations turn in your favor, which I believe you intuitively feel already within yourself. Uh -huh. Remember, luck is preparation meeting opportunity. Have you taken all available steps and made all authentic efforts to be prepared for what for which you seek? The witch holds her hands gently over a crescent moon, a potent symbol of new opportunities and fresh potential. We're very connected to the moon, which you already talked about in the beginning following the um, stages. Her cupping fingers allow energy to flow unhindered meaning you have a very clear connection to the above as you know. The raven sits upon a branch, pausing in its journey from the underworld to consider new adventures. 
Leaves of gold emerge from branches. They signify comfort and beauty after periods of abstinence or loss. The witch knows herself and is not afraid of her potential and opportunities to grow and learn. In the moonlight, she willingly steps to the edge of the cliff and leaps, knowing that the natural way of the world will catch her and she will land exactly where she should. This is a bit like a description of you, you know, in your energy. You're like really trusting. And I think this is saying, trust yourself even more, like your ancestors yeah. said, you know, the abilities that you have, they're much stronger than you give yourself credit for. Okay. Let's look at the uh, self-care cards and let me see what they got to say here. We have amplifying card come up here, which I like because when I, when I saw this card, when I just drew it, for me, it was amplifying your abilities, amplifying who you are, you know? And it says, I'm in divine time. Harness your loving energy and watch as one miracle unfolds after another. So this is referencing to a lot of good things for you to come. The witch card was like, literally like a happy symbol here you have good things coming for you now breath card says uh, you are ready to let go of the suffering that you can take in so you can take new possibilities again new possibilities watch out you know the lot is coming for you <laughs> release so you can receive receptivity this is a time for you to receive new information open your heart to receive it i think this is connected to your your connection to up there very much so and grace allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find perfection in yourself and those around you yeah so take it easy it's saying you know you don't have to be a um, yeah. hundred percent all the time and just I keep hearing for you explore exploration exploration moving on there is a lot of things to uncover for you and a lot of I'm hearing new ventures for you to consider but yeah, great I'm job. I'm gonna put in my well because the job was just like too much, and I was like, I don't know if I want to be a nurse no more. Like, oh my gosh! So I just like decided I'm gonna put in my two weeks because it's just not for me. You leaving? Yeah. So I'm like tired, of just pushing, 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 and I was like, I can't, I just can't do it anymore. So I just, mm -hmm. I felt like a lot lighter when I made that decision. It happened on the full moon when my car broke down. And I was like, well, perfect timing. So I wrote my resignation letter. <laughs> you see, yeah. and there's also a reference for you and the moon phases. I'd say, like, note it because I think yeah. you can pick up already a lot from that since you're following the moon phases. This mm -hmm. is great. But overall, really, really rich and really good session. But since you mm -hmm. know that you are protected, I think watch that fear. It might be fading away over time. Yeah, yeah. It's already starting to fade. Awesome. Thank so that you was so a much. great one. No, thank you. Thank you for a beautiful session. Um